Hello guys, hello guys. What's up? <laughs> Welcome to Bristol Inner City. Bristol Inner City Football Academy are a grassroots football club who dedicate their time to helping young talent realise their potential, giving them the perfect opportunity to become professional. My name is Patrick Williams. I'm the founder and director of Bristol Inner City Football Academy. Bristol City's player pathway manager Brian Tignan keeps in constant contact with BIC director Patrick Williams and is always on the lookout for new talent. As I say, they come into ours and they fit into our environment and like at a professional club really easily. And I could name probably seven, eight, nine, ten players who've come in who've gone right to the top of the group and they, um, they've got potential to play for Bristol City. So that's why we're really close with Pat because he um, he does a brilliant job in there with the coaches to look after them and get them. Sometimes we, we even have players on trial from other clubs who are maybe not quite ready for us, but then we put them to Pat and leave them at big to try and keep their development going and get them in in a, in a year or two's time. I think we've got a real quality from Pat really and um, We've had like a War Edwards who's now played in the team. James Morton's played in the team. A War uh, Opie Edwards has played in our first team. So that's three who've come through. Uh, Seiko Jenna played some time at Bic. So we've got four players who've played in our first team who've who've come through Bic. So that shows the quality and the work they do with them. And as I say, they come in and they don't look out of place in a in a professional club. We spoke to Bristol City Head of Academy Recruitment, Damien Butt, who knows Bristol Inner City better than most, having been a coach at the club before his move to Ashton Gate. Um, so I've known Patrick for 15 years. Uh, we started off uh, coaching in grassroots. So uh, my child and Patrick's eldest boy uh, played in the same grassroots team, albeit at different age groups. Um, so that was initially where I met Patrick. Um, and since then we've had um, a friendship and a working relationship. Um, in youth development and, and football. I think Patrick's um, very caring, uh, very committed, um, runs a really professional um, outfit in terms of BIC, um, and certainly over the 15 years that I've worked with him, um, he, he does things the right way for the right reasons. Um, so, so, yeah. Patrick joined us to discuss the past 10 years and the plans he has for BIC going forward. Initially, the reason for creating Bristol in the City was um, my sons have been very privileged to have the opportunity to play academy football. And when one of my sons got released um, from one of the academies at the time, I just felt that he needed to come back into something a little bit more than grassroots football. So the reason was initially quite a selfish one, but also what that did was give the other kids an opportunity, not just in the surrounding community, but also further afield, to be a part of something uh, a little bit more advanced than uh, grassroots football. I'm, I'm really proud, I'm very passionate about Bristol and the city. Um, and it takes a particular type of coach or person to come and work in our environment. Um, the coaches that are with me have been with me for quite a long time and I think that's testament to the environment and the relationships that we have. Um, we don't micromanage people, um, people understand the philosophy that we have and they carry that out uh, to a particular level that best suits the group of players that they're working with. You know, the plans that we have in place will definitely offer us new um, and offer the players and the coaches um, a lot to get excited about.